do a little bit different. We're going to show you how to fix an old Kenmore washer. It's a model number 110. And the problem I'm having is the agitator won't spin. Okay, so I'll start it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so basically I'm just making this video because I found some videos on these washers, but I never found one on one that's this old, it's a little bit older model. Uh, looks like it's from maybe the late 80s, so worth good. So uh, I just have the, my key here holding down the lid switch and as soon as it fills up, I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, now that it's on, it looks like it's spinning, but as soon as you fill this up with clothes, it doesn't want to move. It just stops. So, it doesn't wash very good. You shouldn't be able to just hold it with two fingers like that. It should just keep spinning, but it doesn't. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the, how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a little slot here to stick your screwdriver in. And just pop it up. Okay, now down in there, there is a bolt. And the bolt size is 7 16 Okay, so we're just gonna crack it loose. You have to hold the bottom. Hold the bottom, turn it loose. It's loose, just gonna grab it the bolt out of there. Okay, that's what it looks like. Set that up there. Now down in there there's two tabs that you have to press in. This one here, and this one here. So you press those in, and this whole thing should just pull straight up. Okay, press the tabs, and this comes out. Okay, then this inner basket piece comes out. And then over here, we have this piece, this retaining washer, and we should not have to take any of that off. That can just stay on for now. Okay, so I already took out the old pieces. This sits in here like this, and it's like a ratchet. It engages one way, and then the other way it spins free. So I'll show you what the new ones look like and what the old ones look like. Okay, so this is the old one, and this is the new one. As you can see, the little tail piece broke off here. And this piece is completely round on the top. Where this, focus, has these little teeth that engage on that inner basket. And I'll show you how these go together. Okay, so we're going to take this piece back out, flip it over, and these are going to go on just like this. 
I'm going to slide them in. Turn it. Slide it in. And these are pretty cheap. This was like $3 on Amazon delivered the next day for free. So not expensive at all. And there's four of them. Okay, slide it in. All right, and then we're just going to put this back in here. Make sure all your pieces are still in place. Okay, so now you can see when it spins this way, they retract. And then when it spins the other way, they come out and they engage. They engage on those teeth right there. And it spins the whole piece. It spins the whole piece this way it just spins free then we spin it this way it engages the whole piece okay so now we're going to put this piece back on and you just want to make sure that this slot these slots line up with these slots right here okay so put those in just like that. Okay. And then the same thing. These two slots on the bottom. Right there. Make sure that they line up with the two on there. So it's going to go like that. It's going to go right on like that. Make sure it's lined up. It should. It should snap right into place. Right like that. And now you can kind of see a little bit better the teeth engage. So when it spins this way, it spins free. And when you turn it this way, the whole inner basket spins. So one way is free, they retract. And you spin it this way and they engage the whole basket. Okay, now we're gonna put this nut back on. Okay, and drop it in. And then grab your ratchet, tighten it in, make sure you don't cross thread it. Just tighten it in nice and straight. Should go nice and easy. Okay, and then you're gonna have to hold the bottom again. Tighten it all the way. Just hold the bottom. Just get it nice and snug. Not, don't go too crazy because it's just plastic. And then you just take your cap. Pop the cap back on, and we'll fire it up and see how she goes. All right. And here's the uh, part number made by Blue Stars. They're called washer agitator dogs. If you have the same washer, these ones work great. I mean, it's it's good. It'll save you money. You know, instead of buying a new washer, your clothes will wash great after this. Then you won't have to go to the laundromat, you know, and see your ex-girlfriend that you hate or see that weird neighbor that has squirrels as pets and, you know, shit like that. So you could just spend your time at home and not have to go to that dreaded laundromat. Let's see. Should be working good here. Oh, yeah. She's cooking now. She'll rip your fingers right off. Oh yeah, beautiful. Alright, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll answer them for you.